What's up you guys? This is Alexis with Style Illusions and I'm back with another video. Um, I haven't done the color video yet but this video is about a new wig that I tried called Proud. And uh, this is what Proud looks like. I put a picture up at the beginning of the video and I have been really enjoying this wig. Um, I don't think the picture does it justice. This wig is, is really uh, pretty. It has a lot of layers and I think it's something a lot of people would like. Um, I'm just going to brush it out so you can kind of see uh, the layers that I'm talking about. And this is what Proud looks like. When it's all brushed out, um, it does tend to group back together, like kind of in wig form, kind of get bouncy and not as feathered like this. So I'm going to try something new today that I read on uh, blackhairmedia.com. Um, but first, let me get the wig on. And for this wig, I just leave out a, a very small amount of hair all the way around the edge. That's what I found best for this wig. And the, the amount of hair you leave out not only depends on the wig, but it also depends on your own hairline. Because I know I have uh, thinner hair on this side because this is where I always part my hair. So it's slightly thinner on that side. And I actually... Um, I actually burned this wig, but I think it looks okay because uh, it got a little frizzy, but it's right at the base where the half wig starts, so I think it actually will add to the natural effect. Now my head is on the large side, so uh, if you have a large wet head, be aware this wig is a little tight. But um, depending on how you part it, you can make it looser. I parted it further back before, and I put a part in the front, and it was not tight at all when I did that. So I'm really just going to iron this middle part. And I was a little worried about half wigs because uh, the last time I relaxed my hair, it didn't come out uh, super straight. And I actually didn't want it to come out super straight. But as a result, I'm not sure if all my half wigs are going to look right. And I'll just give these a little iron just to make them a little straighter. And the way I've been styling this wig is combing some of the hair, my hair over to the side and pulling the rest of it this way. So I'm going to throw some gel on my edges and I'm using the Elasta QP holding glaze. I'm not using my underwig stuff because again my hair isn't super straight so I don't know if it's going to curl up or not. So this is where my wig is at now and what I'm going to try is spraying some spritz 
on the hair before I brush it out and hopefully that'll help it keep the feathered effect and what I have is pump it up <laughs> so see what happens and you all know you can't go too crazy with pump it up because it's probably the best spritz there is but um it really does its job and your hair will not move Okay, so you guys see what I mean. The picture really doesn't show how much this wig can do. I mean, you can pull it straight back like it is in the picture, but you can really make it uh, more than that, too. So here is a view of this style. And I don't know how this video is going to turn out, so I'll put some pictures up too, um, if that, if that, uh, isn't clear, if that picture wasn't clear. But, uh, I am loving this wig right now. It has the layers around the face. For somebody with big cheeks, I like to have more layers around my face. And again, this wig is proud. Of course, it's available at styleillusions.com. And it's also on clearance right now. And I think it's $19. I'm pretty sure it's, it's $19. It's some crazy price. So, um, like, look at that. You guys, I love this wig. I'm going to, I'll uh, see if the pump it up keeps it from uh, grouping itself together again but thanks for taking the time to check me out um, subscribe if you like what I'm talking about if you want to see some more wig previews um, go to styleillusions.com we have coupons there's a clearance sale um, also hit us up on Facebook because we really care with you what you all think we put up pictures of the styles that we're going to bring in so if you like them, tell us you like them. If you hate them, tell us you hate them. Um, so join the conversation on Facebook or just come to the website and browse and see what we have. Um, either way, thanks for checking us out. Uh, have a great day.